Look at this. It's the moment from this week's Golden Globes that has everybody talking still this morning. That's right. Michael Keaton's speech after he took home the award for best actor in a comedy or musical. In the household in which I was raised, uh, the themes were pretty simple. Work hard. Don't quit. Be appreciative. Be thankful. Be grateful. Be respectful. My name is Michael John Douglas. I'm from Forest Grove, Pennsylvania. I'm the son, seventh child of George and Leona Douglas, and I don't ever remember a time when my father didn't work two jobs, when my mother wasn't saying the rosary or going to mass or trying to take care of seven kids in a rundown farmhouse. And she was volunteering at the Ohio Valley Hospital, where I was born, in the hallway. And he went on to talk about his best friend, who was his son, Sean. Larry Wingett is an author and motivational speaker. He joins us from out west. Larry, he gave the kind of speech you would give if uh, you ever won a Golden Globe. It came from the heart and was all about gratitude. Absolutely. I think the reason people love this so much is it's just so refreshing to see someone with such a clear sense of self who talks about family values that they were taught growing up. And I think the problem right now that we have is that we have so many families who aren't clear about who they are, what they believe, or they're not teaching their kids these things. Yeah, I love how he identified himself really first with being the son of his parents who had those values. Which of those do you think stuck out the most to you? I mean, he talked about fiscal responsibility, humility. What really stuck out? Well, I like respect. Uh, that's the one that I think we're lacking so much that I see and you guys see every single day. We don't respect ourselves enough to do the right thing for ourselves. We certainly don't respect others and their opinions and their ideas or their things. I think if we all focused on respect and taught our kids right now how to respect themselves and each other, we'd see a big difference. Mm. So I'd know, also go straight right. to we need to be more, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. We need to be more honest. We need mm -hmm. to tell the truth. Think about how the world would look if we just all told the truth to each other. Honesty is not just the best policy, it's the only sure. policy. Uh, I think Jim Carrey had a movie about that. Uh, so it's like kind of appropriate. Uh, I know a lot of people who make it in Hollywood choose to live outside because they lose their sense of self. Robert Duvall in particular. I think part of Michael Keaton's success is that he all those things are the reason he's so successful. You know, I did a little research. He evidently has a great uh, work ethic. He shows up on time. He's prepared when he gets there. It's a real example that he exemplifies to the rest of Hollywood, probably, that they don't see in a lot sure. of stars that they work with. And he learned those values growing up. We don't understand that we're not just raising little kids. We are teaching people how to be adults. We need to think about how they're going to act and what they need to know as a 35-year-old, not as a 6-year-old. We're sure. preparing adults for the real world. Absolutely. When I was sure. watching it uh, on Sunday night, Larry, I was struck by, here's this guy who plays this uh, washed up action hero who's got, got a show on Broadway, and that's what he, uh, Michael Keaton won the award mm -hmm. for. He's standing there in uh, Beverly Hills amid a sea of uh, superficial people. And I was wondering, I wonder if they get what he's talking about. I hope that they do, and I believe some of them do. You talked about Robert Duvall. There's a lot of people out there who did grow up at a time where these kind of values meant a lot to them, and they still stand up for what's right in their own lives, and they don't play the Hollywood game, and they're mm. not shallow people. But, for the most part, right. I think we just see the shallowness when we look at all the tabloids on the supermarket shelf. I right. think you're right. right. But by the way, anybody in that audience uh, competed and was successful in probably one of the most competitive fields in all of America. So they have to, for the most part, have a great work. Ethic. I'm sure it resonated with them. Larry, it's always great to hear from you. Love your perspective. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, sir. How many of those shirts does he have? He always tells He's us. He's got all of them. <laughs>